Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the topic from the chapter number 14 for microwave engineering. The topic here we have microwave monolithic integrated circuit or we can also have it to be the monolithic microwave integrated circuit for the growth here. So up till now in this chapter, we have gone through the introduction to this particular technology and also we have seen the various types of the materials that are used for the fabrication of these particular devices that can work at the microwave frequency signal here. So let us see the details of the topic. So here we start with our topic monolithic microwave integrated circuit growth. Now for the monolithic microwave integrated circuit, we can make the abbreviation MMIC here. So I hope it is very clear monolithic is for the single unit into the stone here. So monos means single, lithos means stone here. So when the device is formed as such the integrated circuitry for the microwave signal inside the same crystal we call it monolithic microwave integrated circuit. Now here for the MMIC we shall be reporting the fabrication techniques here. So in the several of the fabrication techniques available few of the popular ones we shall be talking about. The very first one is called as diffusion and ion implantation. Diffusion and ion implantation. So these are the two processes. The first process is called as diffusion and second process is called as ion implantation. They are working for the controlling the amount of the dopants to be into the semiconductor substrates there. So these are made possible to have the fabrication of MMIC. The next fabrication technique is of oxidation and film deposition. So for oxidation and film deposition, there are the four groups of the film films that may be present here. So here we have the first one to be of the thermal oxides. The second group is for the dielectric layers. Whereas the third one can be for we have polycrystalline silicon and lastly the fourth one are nothing but the metal films. Now the third type of the techniques for fabrication so that in turn we can call it to be the MMIC growth here is the epitaxial growth. Now in the epitaxial growth the single crystal semiconductor material is growing over the single crystal semiconductor substrate here. So the epitaxial growth, the epitaxy basically is of the three types. The three types of the epitaxy can be listed as we have very first of all vapor phase epitaxy. It can be abbreviated as VPE. Whereas the second one we can go for molecular beam epitaxy. It can be abbreviated as MBE. And the third one is given as liquid phase epitaxy. So it is abbreviated as LPE here. Now the fourth type 
for the fabrication of monolithic microwave integrated circuits is called as lithography. So again for lithography we have the four subtypes. The first one can be regarded as electron beam lithography. The second one can be the ion beam lithography. The third one is optical lithography. And the fourth one is X-ray lithography. So lithography is basically the process of transferring the patterns of the geometric shapes on a mask of the thin layer of the radiation sensitive material known as a resist here. And this is for covering the surface of the semiconductor wafer used in the manufacturing process here. The fifth technique used for the fabrication of MMICs is given as etching and photoresist. So for etching and photoresist, one example can be shown with the help of a schematic diagram. So in this example, we have the two sections here where for the first section the masking and exposure to ultraviolet radiation so ultraviolet i can abbreviate it to be the uv radiation here so in this case for the substrate here for example the silicon chip here we have the layer of silicon dioxide next to that the dark one is a photoresist material and next to that we have the mask that has overlapped the photoresist material and from the upper side we have the uv radiation here now at the second diagram we see here the photoresist. Now here we have the SiO2 layer shown as before the shaded one. This is the silicon substrate chip here. Whereas we have here polymerized photoresist. Now the sixth type of fabrication method can be given as deposition. For the deposition, we have the three subtypes or commonly used for making of the MMICs. These are called as the vacuum e evaporation. Next to that, we can have the electron beam evaporation. And lastly, we have DC sputtering. Now here one example can be discussed where we can have the illustration of the photoresist technique here. So in the figure part A, we can see here, here it is the process of deposition. So for deposition, we have the semiconductor material here. For example, the silicon here, whereas the oxide can be shown above it, and here at the above place we have the photoresist material. In the figure B, there can be the use of mask here, so it is called as a masking here. So here we have again the semiconductor material, for example, the silicon here, the oxide layer shown here we have here the ultraviolet radiation from the above here and here we have this particular shaded material to be of the opaque type here 
and this is the sheet of photographic mask here. So by the next step, we can say this is the figure part C here. So in figure part C, we can perform the chemical etching. So in chemical etching, we have the oxide material and the photoresist material that has been shown by the shaded portion here. Whereas at last we have the part D showing the etching process here. So in the etching process again we have the semiconductor substrate and this is the representation of window that has been formed in the oxide. And here it is the overall oxide represented here. So this has completed our topic the monolithic microwave integrated circuit growth. By the next lecture we shall continue into the same chapter to address the topic. The topic is titled MOSFET fabrication. So I hope you enjoy learning the various topic we discussed so far for microwave engineering. For more such information and the knowledge if you want to have you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.